My name is Christian and I am a Christian living in the largest Muslim country in the world. I decided to try fasting for three days for Ramadan, both to learn more about it and to show respect to my Muslim friends, followers and subscribers. No food and no water from after 4.35 in the morning till after 5 55 in the afternoon while working from my apartment in Jakarta, Indonesia and it was both a lot harder than I expected but also a lot more rewarding. Each year Ramadan is celebrated by more than 1.8 billion people all around the world. Ramadan allows Muslims to devote themselves to their faith and come closer to Allah. Besides being a month of fasting, it's also about spiritual reflection, about prayers, doing good deeds and spending time with family and friends. Fasting is one of the five pillars of Islam which forms the basis of how Muslims live their lives. So for three days, I cannot eat, drink, smoke, or have sex from the sun rises early in the morning until the sun goes down again late in the afternoon. Eating before sunrise is called sa'ud, and breaking the fast in the afternoon is called iftar. But since I'm living in Indonesia, I'll be referring to this as berbuka puasa. Normally, Muslims will pray five times per day, but instead I'll be using the time for meditation and for reflection. Before we start the video, I just want to apologize in advance for any mispronunciations or wrongdoings. I mean no disrespect with this video. This is coming from a huge side of respect and a willingness to learn. So let's get into the video, guys. Good morning, guys. It is now 4.45. I've already had my oatmeal, I've had some water, and now the fasting has begun. Now I'm gonna go back to bed, guys, and I will see you guys a bit later. <laughs> it is now eight o'clock and usually I don't sleep this late, but uh, I had a long day yesterday. I'm just gonna get a shower. I won't drink the water and then I am gonna sit by my computer, do some work and we'll see how it goes. And it's another beautiful day in Jakarta. I've already done quite a few hours without drinking, without eating. So um, yeah, the only problem is a slight headache but I'm hoping that will go away because I still have a lot of hours to go. So super interesting, the uh, meditation actually helped with my headache. And then afterwards I fell asleep. I slept for about an hour. So I'm feeling very uh, disorientated. So it's, it's really not easy today, um, but I'm guessing it's also because it's my first day. Time to get back to work. Okay, so I'm at 10 hours now without food and without drinks and I just feel uncomfortable. It's a learning experience and I'm hoping that tomorrow will be better but... <laughs> Alright guys, the weirdest thing is happening right now. The food is on the way but my energy levels have been spiking and I'm actually getting my hunger back now. My headache is slowly going away. I have so much more energy. I think it's because my brain knows that I'm about to get some food. Oh, the food is here. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Selamat sore. Yes, I'm fasting today for first day for Ramadan. So, I'm so hungry. <laughs> You're fasting today also, yeah? I'm fasting today. Lapar? Yeah, right? <laughs> Ladies, thank you so much, yeah? Have a good evening. One minute left. I have the dates. Because of course I have to break my fast with dates. That is what the Prophet Muhammad, he did. He broke his fast with three dates and water. And then I have some chicken and salted egg rice from one of my favorite places, Idla and some sambal chicken from Ibla as well. So, oh, time to eat. Oh, I have been waiting for this. Mm. And water. The first date, it just tastes so good. It's been a good first day. It's been a really, really hard lesson trying for the body to adapt to fasting all day. But I'm so happy that I made it through it. I'm gonna finish up, have the dates, have the chicken, sambal chicken, I have some ice cream in the freezer. I'm gonna head early to bed because I have to get up super early to start eating again for sahur. Uh, sahur. So uh, I will eat up, see you guys tomorrow, and good night. 
Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Ramadan and YouTube fans from around the world, it is day two of fasting and I'm hungry, so let's get some breakfast. I'm having some oats, milk, blueberry, and protein. Alright guys, breakfast time. And I'm bung up. Oh my Jesus, so good. Probably shouldn't say Jesus in a Muslim fasting video. So I will say I stuck feel a lot. I got 13 minutes left. Gotta finish up. I wanna get my coffee and then gotta get to work. I actually have the mosque right in my backyard. So it actually wakes me up pretty much every single morning. So this morning I heard it for the first time around 10 minutes to four, it said, Saur, Saur. And then I was like, sweet, I know, it's time to get my breakfast. So, thanks guys. I knew I had to do something differently on day two to avoid those headaches that I got on day one. So I tried to chuck as much water as I possibly could for Saur. And then instead of going back to bed, I decided just to keep working. It was such a weird day yesterday. Honestly, I felt a bit sorry for myself yesterday. That's why I actually put some stories out on Instagram where I made like a status update and I watched them after I was done with my buka puasa after I broke the fast and I was looking at them I was just like wow I have to delete these I was whining so much and a friend reminded me like hey just so you know it's not about complaining and whining it's about being grateful so uh, thank you to Andy for reminding me of that I did some Google search and apparently a lot of people think that you should not be watching Netflix or TV during uh, the fasting because the fasting is not about being distracted by watching a movie, uh, but it's about being focused on the fasting, focused on being grateful, focused on your spirituality. I actually agree with that. I think that makes perfect sense. It's not about just waiting for the time to pass. It's about using this time constructively and you have to take whatever you can from it and learn from it. At least that's my opinion. Just finished my nap for today and wow, I feel so much better than I did at this time yesterday. So today, every time I felt a little bit of hunger, I've just used that as a switch to think, okay, be grateful, be grateful. I'm getting all of these ideas that I've been actually looking for for so long and I'm getting my motivation back. So wow, today I'm really feeling the benefit of the fasting. All right guys, change of plans. It's 20 minutes to three. It's about to rain and thunder a lot now. I can hear it, see it. So I'm gonna quickly order some Go food because then I will have it in time for Buka Puasa. And then hopefully I won't be disturbing a Gojek driver when it's time for his Buka Puasa. Wow, I have so much energy today. Amazing. And they got the bundle, 100K. Okay, sorry guys, I have to eat the same again. Ah, salted egg and sambal is out of stock. Ado. And if that sounded like complaining, then nana, nah, not complaining. I am grateful that I can then have something else. I will have Burger Bros. Yeah, as you can hear, I'm really practicing. All right, guys, it's almost time. It is now 5.38. So today I am actually really looking forward to starting with my three dates like I did uh, yesterday. I'm gonna have water. And then I'm gonna dig into one of my favorite meals. I'm just gonna show it here with the camera. All right guys, so this is one of my favorite go-to meals. It's from Burger Bros. And we have the uh, nuggets with the salted egg sauce. We have cheesy fries with um, some kind of bacon meat on it and two chicken burgers. One minute left. So I put the burgers and the fries away. Uh, it was a bit too much for my self-control to sit and smell the fries. So I'm just sitting here with my date for tonight. <laughs> That's not funny. Happy break fasting, guys. It's been a fantastic day. Oh my god. All in all, a great day and I'm not even worried about tomorrow. I know it's gonna be a good day. So now I'm gonna enjoy my dates, I'm gonna enjoy my burger, my ice cream, and I'll see you guys best off. Good morning guys. It is the third day of fasting and the last day of fasting for me. I have my blueberry oatmeal ready, I have my coffee, I have my water. I'm gonna get that 
and then I'm gonna head down to the gym with my buddy Jay. We usually go to the gym five to six times per week in order to try and follow our regular schedule. Then I'm gonna push myself a bit today and do the workout with Jay. Let's see how it goes. All right, guys, we're almost ready. Now we're just waiting for Jay to finish up his phone call and then we're gonna start with some squats. So I'm not gonna go too much uh, too many reps today because I don't want to sweat too much because the more I sweat the less fluid I will have in my body Morning. Ew. Dick, yep, yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> did six or seven sets ish yeah yeah so guys if you enjoyed having jay in the video today let me know in the comments down below should i include him in another video i'm not sure i'm not sure if people are gonna understand your accent or mentality jesus get <laughs> oh yeah there you are mike hey guys if you like this uh, video smash that subscribe button you know if you didn't like it just put down in the comments no more jay and or barry and I'll step right out of the next one. But otherwise, good little legs ish. Um, hopefully, see you guys on the next video. But be sure to comment that you want that or not, or more, or ideally, next video. Thanks, guys. I don't know how to turn it off. Yeah. And we're out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, back from the workout. I'm actually really thirsty already so i think it's gonna be a long day jay and i we're gonna hit the food stalls today for buka puasa he's gonna join us so now i'm gonna head to shower i'm gonna do some work get the nap meditation and i'll see you guys in the afternoon for buka puasa last day of fasting let's go all right guys we are on our way to find some food i knew there are gonna be rain today but still we have to go out i want to end the fast with eating some good street food so, uh, and I'm super thirsty, so I really just want a cold tear bottle. So guys, right now, pan pan, jalan kakis. Uh, we're just gonna go to the, uh, what's up? Huh? Maybe get some food, you know, yeah. just cruising. Whoa, makan, I'm going on, wa banyak makan. Oh yeah. So mate, what was that? What were you doing then? Oh mate, just sharing the business card, you know? You gotta put the word out there. Oh yeah. yeah. Followers listen up here, I got a simple task for you. If you follow and subscribe, you'll be saving a lot of paper, a lot of trees. So let's get the message out. Let's stop this poor man running around handing them out everywhere. You here we go, another one. Yeah, here we go. One call, yeah. <laughs> that was close. Oh yeah, it's dark in here. Satay ayam, yeah? I am, I am craving for a ice cold tea bottle and oh, yeah. a cappuccino sachet and some nasi goreng. Really hungry now. FJ, one minute. Satu mini lagi. A lot of people here, they're just sitting and waiting, waiting for the time. <laughs> yeah, 55. Yeah. Cheers, mate. Hey, Cheers, guys. Cheers. Mm. Oh, yeah. Honestly, that is the best feeling. Yeah. After fasting all day, that's just to drink something. Reward. It's the little things in life, hey, that make all the difference. Nasi buti. And all of that beautiful singing in the background it just really sets a mood for a nice romantic dinner with your, your youtube specialist you know mr hansen so this officially marks the last day of fasting for me even though i'm not a muslim i have to say this was truly a rewarding and learningful experience i have to say i have a massive respect for the muslims that go through ramadan 30 days every single year i only did it for three days and i can tell you it was not easy the first day was honestly painful but already on the second day i felt completely different i felt the energy coming back to me i could start to feel the benefits of the fasting 
Personally, I love the idea that you restrain yourself from something so basic as water and food. And I think this is a really valuable lesson and it teaches you a kind of self-respect and self-control and i think this is a powerful tool you, you can use in many other situations in your life but one of my biggest takeaways from this fasting time was the time you take to reflect on your previous actions and your spiritual growth and try to become a better human muslim or not i think that this is something that everyone can benefit from if you agree with me let me know in the comment section down below and i would love if you would help to share this video and share the message with your friends and i think there's only one question left to answer and that is would I ever do this again? Absolutely. Happy Ramadan, everyone, and thank you for watching.